Come on in. And you can have a seat on the chair with Abigail in your lap. Did you want to set your things over on the sure, chair here? Thanks. No problem. How's Abigail doing today? Yeah. She's well <laughs> Looks very pretty in pink. Hi. Yes, my favorite color. <laughs> yeah. Hi, girl. How are you today? Okay. Yes. Yeah. So, are there any concerns about Abigail's vision? Did you have any things you were noticing about her eyes that didn't seem quite no, I don't right? Think so, no, she seems to have pretty good vision. So she's looking at your face, and she seems yeah. to sort of follow things that are in front of her. Yeah, for sure. And was she born at full term? Thirty-nine weeks. And yeah. were there any complications in the pregnancy or delivery? What was her birth weight? Five pounds. She was pretty small. Is she? she five pounds, yeah. And, um, but she didn't require extra time or a NICU or anything um, she like that? She was in the NICU for uh -huh. about six days. Just, okay. I just wanted her just to make sure that she could gain weight and eat. Okay. Any medications right now or known allergies? No. Who is the family doctor? Dr. Ivan Jacob. Has she had any infections or injuries to her eyes? Anything requiring medical attention to her eyes so far? No. Nope. And if we talk about her family, your side as well as her dad's side, does anybody have a crossed or wandering eye in the family? Uh, no, I don't think so. Anybody with blindness or eye disease at all? No. Nope. And this is her first time to the optometrist, clearly? Okay, so what we hope to do today, it's very different than the eye test you're thinking of for yourself, right. but at the end of the day, I'll still be able to answer the same things. We're going to make sure Abigail's eyes are healthy right to the very back. Okay. We're going to make sure that they're aligned and the eye coordination is good. And believe it or not, I'll also still be able to tell you what her eyeglass prescription is, nearsighted, okay. farsighted. Even though with babies we tend not to do it, we still need to know where they're at because it helps us make decisions with their eyes going forward. Okay. Okay?